Sponsored by Surfshark VPN. No. That's the answer that Betridge's law dictates be given in the case of a headline that asks a question. And I'm just gonna put it out there right up front. It's also true for me. Personally speaking, a dual screen smartphone doesn't meet most of my needs most of the time. But my needs are not everyone's needs. And more to the point, Microsoft is about to hit the dual screen scene in a big way with its Surface Duo later this season. So this isn't just a flash in the pan. To try to get a better handle on it, for the past few months, I've been using a few LG dual screen review devices. I've compared notes with other LG users, and I'm now convinced that there are benefits to a twin display device, as long as you're willing to put up with some fairly large compromises in the process. As you can tell from the box, the focus of this video is the Velvet, on loan from LG, for now the only company really making an effort in the dual-screen smartphone space. LG seems intent to make a splash ahead of the Surface Duo with the Velvet, which in my case came in a limited edition reviewer's kit packed with accessories like a Wacom stylus and some genuinely pretty cases. But the only case that matters to me is this one. This is actually LG's fourth iteration of the dual-screen concept after earlier experiments with the V50, G8X, and V60. Chunky, you say, to which I nod my head, until you also say clunky, at which I also nod, clumsily folding the flap underneath a round back, the biggest phone case of my life. That's a reference to the 2000 single Hey Pretty by Poe, which is apt, because in contrast to those earlier clunky designs, the Velvet's dual-screen case is pretty. Pure white with a scalloped back for grip and out front an intentionally offset external display looking like a Cylon visor. And because the velvet is thinner than its predecessors, this case is too. Using the second display is pretty much plug and play. You drop the velvet into place, you tap one soft key, and bingo, you've got double the desktops. So what can you do with them? Well, when I touched on that question in the first episode of Into the Fold, my series exploring life on a folding screen, it was in the context of a comparison with true foldables, and I found no usability advantages to the dual screen. In terms of software, the Samsung Galaxy Fold can do everything dual screen phones can, and more. But folding phones are more fragile due to the lack of water and dust resistance and the softer plastic displays. And then there's adaptability. My Galaxy Fold will never not be a giant 270 gram mass. It feels like a gold bar in my pocket and it costs almost as much. The Velvet is not only much cheaper, but it can turn into a standard thin phone on demand. Yes, when relieved of its bulk, the Enterprise becomes an exceptional weapon. Quick aside, massive props to LG for the speaker performance, even when the Velvet is in its case. I'm reviewing a 17-inch laptop alongside this phone at the moment, and it's no exaggeration to say that sometimes the phone has better audio. Using the Velvet over the past few weeks has given me an insight into why people really enjoy this dual-screen life. One night I had an outdoor drink at a bar that has an online menu, and I enjoyed being able to keep the menu up for reference on one screen while scrolling Twitter on another. I also juggle a few group chats on Telegram, so it's nice to monitor those convos on the side screen while, you know, seeing how far away my lift is on the primary or whatever. And probably the most polished dual screen feature on this phone is one I pretty much never use because I don't really like mobile games, but the gamepad is slick. It's got several preset modes for different game types and even the option to create your own custom configuration. I knew that was only scratching the surface though, so as I often do, I took to Twitter to talk to real owners. Far and away, the most popular response to my question of, you know, what do you use this for, was multitasking while watching a video. Even though you should be paying attention to me, just kidding. But I got productivity suggestions too. The second screen is great when you need to take notes on one document while consulting another, as I do every time I build a shot list for a video while consulting the script I wrote. One gentleman said it was useful for him when trading stocks, you know, keeping info on one screen and executing trades on the other. Several folks said it makes password managers easier to use. I see that. A longhand fan even brought the stylus into the equation, taking handwritten notes on one screen concerning video from the other. And in the only example I can think of where spreading an app across both screens makes sense, several folks said editing video on the go is made easier with dual screens. 
Recalling my experience cutting a video on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus? Yeah, I'd have appreciated more screen real estate for sure. So there are plenty of reasons the dual display concept makes sense, but there's still a lot that needs fixing, including my two very favorite use cases. The details after this special offer for Mr. Mobile viewers. I'm not traveling as much as I have in years past, but I'm still using today's sponsor just as often. While Surfshark VPN is great for safely browsing on a public hotspot, it's also a powerful tool for preserving your privacy at home. Look, I make my living thanks to the advertising that goes alongside my content, but some ads come with an uninvited guest, malicious software. Surfshark helps fight that malware, and it also hides your IP address, which makes it tougher for bad actors to target you. If you think your internet service provider might be throttling your speeds based on usage, Surfshark can help level the playing field. And it works on your computer, tablet, and your phone. Try Surfshark now at the link below and use promo code Mr. Mobile. You'll get an 85% discount and three additional months for free. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. A mini laptop. You may not like it, but this is what peak dual screen performance looks like. At least to me. Spreading out with two hands, typing on the full width of a phone screen with another screen up top? You know, unless you've got a Cosmo communicator in your pocket, it just doesn't get any better for on-the-go writing that doesn't require you to pack a backpack. So what a shame that this mode requires you to use LG's subpar keyboard with terrible autocorrect and basically non-existent auto-punctuation. Also, the keyboard takes a long time to deploy in this mode, and as usually happens when you try to push Android to do something unusual, it works, but it's funky. Normally, I'd switch over to Gboard or SwiftKey, but spreading the keyboard that way doesn't really work well, because again, not all apps allow themselves to be divided across that huge hinge gutter, at least not without downloading another app to force that behavior. The other big compromise isn't LG's fault, it falls squarely on Amazon. Dual screen devices were absolutely made for eBooks, but Kindle, the industry leader, doesn't offer two column view in portrait mode. Such a missed opportunity, and I really hope Amazon rectifies it soon. Now there are a few things LG can fix, like its software, which still tells you you shouldn't remove the battery to reset the phone, even though LG hasn't shipped a flagship with a removable battery in five years. A custom launcher could smooth over some of LG's rough edges, but the physical realities of a removable case, oh, they're tougher to negotiate. Yeah, slim as it is by comparison with its forerunners, the velvet in the dual screen case is still a beast. Using it one-handed while folded back is awkward. You need its proprietary cable to charge it if you don't have Qi, and when it's closed, you only get the barest glimpse of usable data on the outer display. Some of these are problems the Surface Duo will likely share, others not so much. But at the end of the day, this is one particular case where Betridge was wrong. Broadly speaking, the dual screen smartphone does make sense. Just depends on how you use your phone. They are for a very specific set of use cases, most of them involving multitasking. And for now, you have to also enjoy LG phones to experience them. Now, they're still not for me. You'll have to watch my Into the Fold episodes to see why I still consider them an intermediate step toward a fully foldable future. But for a world as full of compromise and half measures as the one we find ourselves in in 2020, well, uh, dual screen phones seem like a perfect fit. If you're interested in learning more about Microsoft's take on the dual screen life, check out Zach Bowden's videos at Windows Central for a detailed walkthrough of the Surface Duo emulator. This video was made possible by several review samples from LG, but Mr. Mobile works for you, not the manufacturers. LG provided no compensation for this coverage, nor was it offered copy approval or an early preview of this video, so they're seeing it for the first time right alongside you. Please subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube if that's the kind of video you'd like to see more of. Until next time, thanks for watching, and when you're not staying home, remember to stay safe and mask up while you stay mobile, my friends.